to my youtube channel this is Ndomlingenelwa if you didn't know um if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for tuning back in if you are new here welcome i'd really love to welcome you please do tell your friends to tell their friends to tell their cousin to tell everybody to come tuning into my channel um i know it's been long but it's not that long long but it's i do have time but i don't have time because i have to i have to baby my baby so yeah that's the only problem that i have but other than that everything is fine you know so um on today's video um i asked a few people on my instagram and on my whatsapp the first time i asked i lost those questions and then but i still remember a few um hopefully i will answer that as well but not a few but two from the previous questions that i asked for on instagram so last week i also asked uh for people to ask me a few questions and uh, we'll just go through all of that ne? so yes it's a q and a get to know me tag question and answer type of thing um yeah let's just get right into it <laughs> yes and please note that i'm shooting with my phone and i wrote the questions down and if you hear i'm really sorry if my baby is gonna talk in this video like she doesn't want to sit down if i put her down she wants to play with the things that uh, around here i don't know what i'm gonna give her because yeah i mean this child so the first question hey. says i saw you're a mom now congratulations mm -hmm. thank you so much how's the mommy life well mm -hmm. mommy life is fun i feel like <clears throat> if you are oh i'm sorry about that i feel like if you are emotionally ready you will enjoy it though there are moments whereby like you get really 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 tired because like your baby needs all your attention actually you know so that's that on that and then the second question says what is your biggest fear um i'd say my biggest fear is losing myself um what i mean by that is me not realizing my worth uh because i'm trying to impress other people me not following my dreams me being scared of loving other people because i've been hurt before I hope i'm making sense but it's yeah i I'm, i fear losing myself more than anything and i also fear losing my baby oh my gosh i that's it's, <clears throat> no ways and then the third question says what is your favorite thing you like about your career <laughs> well I'm not fully into my career, but with YouTube, I'd say yes, I am doing what I love. But uh, what I love the most is it's no longer a career field where it's suitable for men anymore, but women can be a part of it. Mm -hmm. For instance, uh, I did a lot of camera work for a few companies of which that was uh, a job for men in most cases so i'm just glad that i got that opportunity to be the camera lady the D, yeah the camera lady camera assistant you know those type of things like i'm really grateful for that so i'd say that's what i love about my career that it's not a thing for men only that it cares for us women as well uh what do you like the most about yourself uh 
I wouldn't say I like, but what I love. I love myself so much. Uh, I love how I've been patient with myself. Um, I love how I love. I love how genuine I am. You know, people would always say, ah, uh, you can't tell yourself that you're beautiful. You can't say that you have a good heart. So that's a lie. You know, if, you're, you, if you have a good heart, you know. If you have a good heart, you know. And that's it, guys. Um, another question says, what would you change about yourself if you could? Um... Actually, there's nothing I'm going to change about myself. I love myself the way I am. The only thing I don't like now is that I gained weight. So I feel like I can't wear clothes the way I'd really love to. But other than that, there's nothing I could change about myself. I love me the way I am. It's either this or nothing. And then what motivates you to work hard? <clears throat> my firstly my baby motivates me to work hard um secondly it's me um not living to my full potential um i i i hate to regret so if i do something i'd really love to finish that so i'm that type of person you know if i wasn't that person i wouldn't have had my degree so oh i don't know but i'm a really patient person so my baby motivates me my dreams and 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 if you could leave anywhere where would it be I'd live in, I don't know really, maybe Zanzibar, I'd really live in a place where it feels like a dream, you know, where when I wake up, like, I see beauty, you know, like, yeah i don't know like i've never thought about something like that but yeah like i'd really love to leave or stay in a place where it looks or it feels like a dream how has motherhood impact you as an individual uh what changes have come with it well the impact that uh, motherhood has on me is I've I've learned to be selfish about myself because I wasn't I was never selfish in army, you know. I've learned to be selfish. I've learned to to be by myself even more, of which I I used to love that, but now it's a thing of if it, even if I miss you, it's whatever, you know, like whatever and the changes that it has brought with it is mm, it's time actually because everything I do now takes time me having to have plans to go to the mall or something like that it takes time because I have to prepare myself and my baby as well um and it has also the changes that it ha it has brought is me having more time for myself and for my baby and yeah i hope i answered the question how is life in general like all in all okay life is okay actually um i'm happy i'm at peace I'm not stressed about anything besides me being stressed about having content. That's the only thing because I'm not going to lie to you. I really enjoy this. Um, 
and to tell you the truth i i used to go to a lot of auditions the last time i went to presenting auditions was when was the year where Luke love became the um, live presenter that was the last time so after that i've decided you know what let me focus on studying that because i really really love television and really love media you know so i was like let me do the background like be behind the scenes for now so because like in the seven zero in the guys so i decided let me start the youtube channel of which i've always wanted to start if you know please if you don't know that i've always wanted to start a youtube channel go watch my first video the intro video that i did um on my youtube channel and then you'll get the claims on how i wanted to why i wanted to start a youtube channel and how it started like everything like that and then the other question says how is oh no i answered that i hope you're well yes i'm well i'm good thank you so much does your field of career cater the most cater for most cater most for men than women what are you saying here okay i understand your question does your field of career cater the most for men than women i feel like now it caters for everyone and with the fields that i'm in it really requires hard work because that's when a lot of comp companies will try to work with you but if you don't work hard then it's gonna be a problem you know um how old are you i'm 20 something i'm 20 something tell me down below Gucci, how old do you think i am if you're correct i'll, I'll see you how do yeah. you define friendships um how do i define friendships ne? Hmm? guys i don't know man i feel like friendships like it's a mutual thing you know um from 2018 i realized that um it's a friendship is a two-way street um it's not about favors you know it if you're a friend with someone you really need to be genuine about that friendship i don't know how to answer this because for me i love friends so much but um i'm just glad that i'm not into friendships like i used to but um friendships man mm. how do i define friendships nana I, I could say being there for someone uh gen being genuinely there emotionally physically when that person is down and out and when that person is up and going um friendship is you being able or being comfortable to tell someone and trusting that someone with whatever you're going to talk about or you're going to say to that person about what's going on in your life friendships is i don't know there's a lot i could say when defining friendships you know because i could have friends where we only friends because i don't know when we meet somewhere or we are friends because you're a mutual friend or you are a friend because i could run to you if i have a problem or something like that i hope i make sense guys um 
where are you from i'm from soweto white city uh kenza i don't know but now i stay at flare off the uh, other question says what motivated you to start a youtube channel um my career and my love for film and television motivated me to start a youtube channel and me not working somehow motivated me um yeah um another question that i got nay i still remember it vividly um someone asked me when did i realize that um god is real or something like that nay and this question was from a friend so the when i realized that god exists or something like that it was when my sunday school teacher told us that if you are sad um if you are sad and you don't have any place to go to to pray you can go to the bathroom the toilet anywhere and pray and me doing that uh it has helped me if i'm feeling sad i know that if i pray i'll feel so so much better um and i've prayed about a lot of things and they will manifest in you, you know so yeah those are the only questions that i've got from you guys they're not a lot but hopefully you guys did enjoy and baby girl is making me take out the nana outside but i have to give her what is his so yeah guys thank you so much for tuning back in i hope you guys did enjoy this and i hope i will give you guys the content that you guys deserve thank you so much bye say bye nana Mm-hmm. <laughs>